There are two types of general wave categories. The first one is progressive waves. There are three types of progressive waves, surface, internal, and tsunamis. The last type of general waves are standing waves, and they are sieges. Characteristics of progressive waves are the wave crest, trough, height, and amplitude. Most of the waves present on the ocean surface are wind generated waves. Size and type of wind generated waves are controlled by things like wind velocity, wind duration, fetch, and the original state of the sea surface. As wind velocity increases, wavelength, period, and height also increase. The shallower the water, the greater the interaction between the wave and the bottom alters the wave properties, eventually causing the wave to collapse. For example, wave speed decreases as depth decreases, wavelength decreases as depth decreases, and wave height increases as depth decreases. Progressive waves are waves that move ac forward across a surface. As waves pass, wave form and wave energy move forward, but not the water. Water molecules move in an orbital motion as the wave passes. Diameter of orbit increases with increasing wave size and decreases with depth below the water surface. Another aspect of waves is wave steepness. Wave steepness is a ratio of wave height divided by wavelength. When wave height divided by wavelength is larger than or equal to one seventh, the wave becomes unstable and breaks. Standing waves or sieges consist of a water surface seesawing back and forth. Nodes. Ah, oh, wait, no, I can't say that because that's a. Just like sound waves, ocean waves have nodes and anti-nodes, where the nodes are located in the centers of enclosed, ba enclosed basins and towards the seaward side of open basins, while the anti-nodes are usually located at the edge of the basin. Stay out, bro. <laughs> Natural periods of standing waves. When the basin is closed, it is two times the wavelength divided by the square root of gravity times the distance between the wave and the ocean floor. When the basin is open, it is four times the wavelength divided by the square root of gravity times the distance between the ocean and the ocean floor. Internal waves form within the water column along the pictocline. Because of the small density difference between the water masses above and below the pictocline, Wave properties are different compared to surface waves. Internal waves display all the properties of surface progressive waves, including reflection, refraction, interference, breaking, and others. Any disturbance to the pycnocline can generate internal waves including flow of water related to the tide, flow of water masses past each other, storms or submarine landslides. Defined by water depth, deep water wave, intermediate water wave, and shallow water wave. Deep water waves occur when the distance between the ocean surface and the sea floor is greater than or equal to one half the wavelength. Intermediate water waves are formed when the distance is in between one half and one twentieth of the wavelength. Shallow water waves are formed when the distance is less than or equal to one twentieth of the wavelength.